Hi, my name is Martin Perhiniak. Welcome back to the digital art series here on PSD Touch Plus. Today, in the 12th episode, we are going to start working on a character design project. I tried to come up with an idea that can be interesting but at the same time easy to follow. And I came up with this idea of having a futuristic robot but using medieval weapons like sword and a shield. When I first thought about the idea, I wanted to visualize the character. So for that, as we've learned it with the spaceships, the best is to create a thumbnail sketch. This sketch can be only a silhouette or it can have some details. In this case, I also focused a bit on the details. So that's the first step, as you can see on the left. And this is what is quite easy to do. And because we've already learned this in previous episodes, I won't show this step again. I'll just show you this thumbnail sketch here. So you can see that this was the base of the whole project. So I basically came up with the idea of the character at the first step. And after that, I had to find a nice pose, a heroic pose, which will show the character in action. And that's the second step. Again, this is something that uh, we won't discuss in details in this tutorial because this is just a rough sketch, which again, we already learned it in previous uh, tutorials, not with this specific uh, project, but similar uh, sketching techniques we already talked about. So once you have a sketch like that one, a second one, the following two techniques or steps are the ones that we are going to talk about and we are going to talk about in detail. In this tutorial, we are going to do the line drawing, which is the third step, which is basically just clarifying all the details and cleaning up the rough sketch from the second step. And then in the next tutorial, I'm going to continue on this project and we will get to the finished colored illustration. Now, in this character design, I don't want to do a photorealistic design. I want to keep it illustrative. So as you can see, I kept all the hard edges of the outline, which helps to keep the illustration a bit cartoonish, less serious. In this case, that was the style that I wanted to follow. Later on the series, we are going to learn photorealistic digital painting as well. But first of all, it's good to practice the illustration techniques. So as I said, in this tutorial, we are going to see the third step. Starting from the sketch from the second step, we are starting to create the line drawing. So let's get started. Okay, so that is the rough sketch on the right side. And I changed the opacity of the layer to 30% and basically I'm starting to trace over the image on a separate layer on top of the rough sketch layer. So I created a new layer and the original layer is changed in opacity so it's easier to draw over it. And as you can see I'm using simply the brush tool with 100% opacity and I think it was 3 or 4 pixels size with the pressure sensitive pressure sensitivity on and I just simply start drawing over the details. The great thing with a rough sketch is that you don't have to um, concentrate on proportions and perspective because you already have it in the background. You can focus on the details and uh, the little added elements that makes the whole design interesting like these little wires and tubes and buttons and plates on the armor. So these are the elements that I'm drawing now. And it's up to you where you want to start uh, whenever you draw something like this. But uh, I prefer to draw from the upper body and the head and then go around it. But uh, generally, I like to keep the illustration on the same detail level. So I don't spend too much time in one area. Like I won't start doing the coloring here on the upper body till I finish the whole uh, 
clarified line art on the whole uh, character. I'm going to draw the sword now. And sometimes it's good to turn off uh, the background, the sketch, if you want to make it um, make the detailed illustration different. And sometimes it's um, distracting to have the original sketch in the background. So that's what I'm going to do. Before I finish the sword, I'm going to turn off the background sketch, as you can see. I've turned it off now. And I'm drawing the sword. Sometimes I use the line tool um, with fill opacity set to 0% and using the stroke, uh, one or two pixels uh, black stroke. Um, Actually, sorry, just simply the line tool uh, with two pixel width and set to black color. That's why I use for the sword. When you have like completely straight lines, it's sometimes easier. And then usually I merge those layers into uh, the line art layer that I'm working on. So this part of the illustration is getting to be on the same level so detailed enough and by the way the illustration is um, I mean the sketch the original sketch is here so you can download it from uh, the website and you can follow me along this tutorial so you can give it a try on your own and as you can see, I continue drawing around the legs and the pelvic area. And I'm going to uh, draw the details uh, between these parts, but these are like the more armored parts of the body. So these are the parts that first I wanted to capture. Here on the right, I used the pen tool and I just drew uh, a stroke for the shield. And the advantage of the pen tool is that you can easily adjust the curve. And um, here I used uh, a fill opacity set to 0% and just simply use the stroke option set to one or two pixels and using black color. And now I'm using, again, the brush tool to create these little details on top of the shield. And as you can see, I sometimes uh, make it a bit different to the original design. So I, it's, you don't have to follow the original design too closely. So you can always make it a bit different if you feel that's appropriate. So I'm adding some extra details on the feet and now I'm going to draw these cables uh, which will connect the upper body to the pelvic element on this robot so I'm drawing these uh, cables they look like the guts of the robot so yes something like this maybe i add a bit more later on but now i'm going to draw uh, the cables between the pelvic area and the legs i usually think of skeletons when i draw robots so if it's a uh, humanoid robot then it's good to think about skeletons and even though in this tutorial series we haven't talk ab uh, talked about really about anatomy um, these, this is quite simple to start uh, with drawing a robot so instead of drawing a human it's always I think easier to start with a bit more abstract 
uh, characters like a robot or a monster because you, you don't have to be very precise with the uh, proportions but later on when we are going to design um, characters human characters we will talk about anatomy as well uh, anatomy is a really important thing and it's good to know about the skeletons and muscles uh, you don't have to be a professional um, a professional doctor to, to know all the muscle groups and uh, everything about the human body but it's it's useful to know about it when you draw characters so you can see I I use these elements which makes it a bit more interesting like the cape and the flag so basically I want to achieve an interesting character which is combined of these two styles the uh, sci-fi futuristic uh, robot with the medieval knight with the sword and the shield and the cape so we have all the elements now the only thing which would make it more interesting is to have somewhere on the image a human so uh, just to just to show the proportions of this uh, robot and you can always decide this later on whenever you want to what is the actual size of the of your design your character as you can see if you draw a little stick man that is, that is actually enough you don't have to spend too much time on it that will easily describe the size of your design so I uh, just just for fun basically and uh, to show the proportions I have that little guy next to a robot and I will place that guy a bit closer to the robot and you can be creative and uh, create a uh, little in environment for for your design character design so you can even place other soldiers around it or even on top of the uh, on top of the robot or you can create something like Gulliver's travel to have the robot fighting with these little guys it's completely up to you what you want to achieve but i think that's enough for me as the line art on the robot and we also have that little soldier for uh, the proportions now the only thing left which I think would be useful is to have um, have the shadow under uh, the feet of the robot so I'm going to use uh, again the brush tool on a separate layer so I just add a couple of more details and I uh, as you can see I'm working on the arm on the left but well, after that I'm going to create a new layer below the uh, line art layer and I'm going to draw uh, the shadow below this it's important that I'm working on, an, on a transparent layer so when you start drawing make sure that you create a new layer and it's not filled with white so I have the white on the background layer but my line art is on a separate layer on top of it the layer structure is really simple you just have your black uh, sorry white background layer and on top of that you have probably a rough sketch which is invisible now because I turned it off and on top of the rough sketch you have the line art which you can see here so basically three layers on top of each other okay so as I'm quite happy with the line art it's not that complicated it's quite simple I intentionally wanted to make it simple I, I here I'm experimenting with a couple of elements for the head or helmet but uh, I then decide not to use anything else so I don't want to go too far I think it's enough I want to keep it simple and yeah as I said I intentionally wanted to make this design simple and easy to follow and if you practice uh, on similar designs you can you can or it can become a routine 
to create something like this, a character like this. So there we have the shadow again. Probably it's better to do it on a separate layer and then you can erase uh, on the feet, make it look like it's under uh, the robot. So that's all. And again, let's switch back to the original uh, image where we can see the whole work that or workflow that we have to go through. So we have finished the third step in this tutorial and uh, we are going to work from this point in the or continue working from this point in the next tutorial where we are going to do the coloring. Till then, if you want to, you can finish uh, this section by downloading the rough sketch and then just draw over it next time you can use your own file to finish uh, this artwork with the coloring part or if you want you can go ahead and do the coloring on your own. Uh, I hope you enjoyed today's episode as well and I hope you learned some new techniques and as we get uh, further and further in this series you will see we don't necessarily need to learn lots of new techniques because we are building everything on top of what we already know. These tutorials are more like inspirations and helping you to think of how to plan a project and how to go step by step uh, because something there's something in digital art which is uh, really common if someone uh, tries to create digital paintings most of the time if you are a beginner you will find it difficult to get through uh, specific steps so when you only see your rough sketch sometimes it's really intimidating when you look at other artists work and you can you try to compare your work to them you always feel like oh my god how far away I am from from that uh, detailed digital painting but if you if you plan ahead and you see uh, already in your head the steps that you need to go through, uh, try to try try not to stop and try to be consistent, following your steps, and you will see at the end you will appreciate all your work that you put into each of the steps. Obviously, whenever you start a new uh, design, you will always be more uh, better and uh, and it will be always easier to go through the steps. So this is a, a good routine that I usually use uh, for character design. Okay, so that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope I will see you next time when we do the coloring for this robot. Thanks a lot and see you next time.